We're going to take a closer look tonight at a town that is choking to death. At least that's how many people who live there put it. The Environmental Protection Agency says that Libby, Montana is the site of the worst residential exposure to hazardous material in American history. Asbestos. Asbestos is an invisible fiber, and if enough of it gets into people's lungs, as it has in Libby, it eventually kills them. The administrator of the EPA, Christine Whitman, Christy Whitman, was in Libby today. 2,700 people live there. She said she was trying to determine if the town is eligible for more federal money. ABC's Bill Redeker is there too. Les Scramstead is dying. I'm just constantly out of air, out of breath. Scramstead's doctor says he has only a few years before the asbestos in his lungs literally chokes him to death. All of us know we're going to die, but there's no use of taking risks to rush it along. Uh, this is what we did for the sake of a job. His job? Sweeping up dust at a mine here. It exposed him to the invisible deadly asbestos fibers embedded in vermiculite, a mineral that was extracted from this mountain. The EPA is cleaning up the toxic material, not only from the mine, but from the high school athletic field, where it was used to build a running track, and from homes where it was used as insulation and even gardening compost. But nearly 200 people in Libby have died from the contaminated dust. That's all thickening of the lining of the lung right in there. And more than 1,000 others in the area have just been diagnosed with asbestos-related well, diseases. Well, well, and today, with their oxygen tanks in tow, victims told EPA Administrator Whitman that W.R. Grace, which operated the mine, should be charged with murder. W.R. Grace committed homicide. They have to be held accountable for it. Ms. Whitman said the EPA was doing what it could, but that it would take more time and more money to completely rid the town of asbestos problems. W.R. Grace, which sold the mine 11 years ago and declared bankruptcy this year, says no one could have known the risks back when its plants were spewing up to 10,000 pounds of asbestos here every day. The risk keeps growing. Les Scramstead's wife and two of his children have lung problems. Libby is living with a deadly legacy. You're scooping up vermiculite as recently as the past week or so. Yes. It's still out there. Yes. No one knows how many others will die. The only hope is that more money to clean up the town will keep future generations from getting the disease. Bill Redeker, ABC News, Libby, Montana.